before bed i like to brush my hair gently you see i'm holding it so i'm not tugging it when i brush it and then i like to braid it put some oils in it and put it in a silk bonnet and sleep on silk sheets with a silk pillowcase minimize the damage you do to your hair like you don't need to straighten your hair or if you are gonna straighten your hair definitely do it when it's a couple of days old and it's, it has oils in it Trim your hair. Cut your dead ends. Use the right kind of scissors. Don't use just any regular scissors lying around the house. Cut it like this, then you go cut it up like that, you know? I use olive oil. I use castor oil. I use mustard oil. If you feel like your eyelashes or your eyebrows aren't as thick as you want them to be, I would advise using castor oil. And you should get it at an Indian store or any like this grocery store. Because if you get it at a beauty supply, I've noticed that most castor oils or any oil is mixed with all this other chemicals that you don't really need so go to your local daisy store and get you some castor oil i would advise using it during the day like so like you know when you wake up you do your skincare whatever just apply it on your lashes and your in your brows if you apply it on your lashes it'll kind of like lift them and shine them and kind of give you like a glowy look castor oil is super great for growing hair and even on your scalp if you want to grow your hair your hair on your head put it in your head if you get dandruff, I would advise using I use tea tree oil, which helps smooth the dandruff, and also it calms my scalp down from when it's itchy and like inflamed. And also I have this thing right here, this pink thing, and I use it to like exfoliate my scalp to avoid the buildup to prevent the dandruff in the first place. Argan oil is good too, jojoba oil. You only need a clarifying shampoo like once or twice a month. Like if you've been going to the pool a lot and you wash your hair with regular shampoo and it just doesn't feel clean still, that's when you need a clarifying shampoo. Brushing your hair is super important because it helps distribute the oils that are on your scalp down to the rest of your hair. Also, it helps with blood circulation. Some people literally wash their hair like every single day. You don't need to do that. I promise you, your hair is not that dirty because you washing your hair every single day, you're going to strip it of its essential oils that it needs and it's never going to have time to like just be just vibe like let your hair just vibe let it just exist i'm not saying don't wash it at all just don't wash it every single day do not overwash it look at the ingredients in your shampoo make sure you're getting a good clean ingredient product natural products i recently started using the maui conditioner and i I love it. It's so good. In order to properly care for your hair, you need to know your hair type. Is it wavy? Is it curly? Also, you need to know your hair porosity. Hair porosity is your hair's ability to absorb things, whether it's, you know, water, oil, product, whatever. I found out that I have low porosity, which means, like, it takes my hair forever to absorb stuff. You can find out your hair porosity if you click the description. There's going to be some links at the bottom. It'll help you figure out more of your hair type to cater your hair care to it. Because you can apply all the product in your hair that you want, but if you're not doing it in the right method that's the best for your hair, it's not going to do anything for you. When washing your hair in the shower and you apply your shampoo, apply it to your scalp and make sure you get all in your scalp, massage it, use a scrubber, but don't be too rough with the scrubber because your hair is the most sensitive when it's wet. So be gentle and then work down to your strands and wash it. Wash it out. After you wash out your shampoo, when you use your conditioner, you're going to want to apply it um, generously on your strands and let it sit for a couple of minutes and usually while I have my conditioner in since I brushed my hair before the shower it's still pretty not tangled but it did it does get a little bit tangled after you shampoo it so kind of use your fingers and go through it and detangle it and then get a wide tooth comb and brush it in the shower don't just 
go ham with the brush use your fingers be gentle this is gonna be so bomb for your curls like after you get out of the shower your hair is gonna look really good <music> So I'm done now. I'm going to end it with the cold one. Usually when I get out of the shower, I put oils in there while my hair is still kind of damp. I don't wait till my hair is completely dry. I put mustard oil in there. I feel like when I put it in there, when it's damp, it doesn't have that really greasy look. When you're done with your shower, instead of putting a towel on your head, get a cotton tea, like 100% cotton tea. Because it absorbs your water really well and it's not gonna tug your hair, pull on your hair. I like to do this and then just let it air dry.